intentional to me. He goes with the heater up and in and absolutely oh, man. him. Future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on yeah. the show. Today, it's game two of a three-game weekend set between the Reading Fightin' Phils and the Hartford Yard Goats. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Carl Kaufman, a right-hander from Michigan, is the starter on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over one. So here is Fred Hunter. He'll lead things off here in the bottom the half of the first. This afternoon, the right fielder, Fred Hunter. Pitch on the way. Good pitch, good pitch, good pitch. He's their best batter right now. It's important to get him out. I love that mustache. Lifted down the line and left. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Well that below the knees laid it. off on the changeup there. Well, that's a pitch right there. you got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Hit on the ground to short. Throw the first. Cleanly. And that's the first out. So now into the box is Ronald Hernandez as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Decent, but not great results so far this season from the left side. I know he'd like better, certainly, but he's definitely still a capable hitter in this setup. Dan Dero, as we take a look at our visiting club as they take the field in this scoreless ball game, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker without question. But you know what? You find a way. You show up to the yard today, you get out of the cab, and you watch countless hours of video, and you try and formulate a game plan to get this back to 500. One and one to start the road trip, and you're moving in the right direction. Right down the middle. Love the ability to push that ball the other way right there. Nice knock right, to the send it to me. field. That's a switch hitter's delight, the ability to use all parts. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's yeah. got to hurt. Well, the pitcher can claim that that one slipped all he wants, but that looked intentional to me. He goes with the heater up and in and absolutely oh, drills man. him. That's dangerous, and I'm surprised that the ump appears to be letting it go. Into the box, Willie really Quintana, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. On the season, Quintana hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone and Get it too much in these situations. Steven will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. All right, I need this last and out. Stepping in, Peyton Engel. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And a breaking ball backs him out of the way. 1-0 and the count. They're scared. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Hey, plays that one now. 1-0, and here it is. Oh, come on. Count runners at the corners. You can bet he's looking for something to drive right here. There's a good chance he gets something to hit, too. Runners on first and third, two away. Into the corner and slicing foul. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. He set the 2-2. Now a swing and a fly ball. And oh, no one will get this. Jumped at that, man. 
Runners at the corners, two men out. Softly hit down the line. And no problem over there at first as he flags this one down to end the inning. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. I thought we were going somewhere there. Stepping up is Jose Gomez. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. First pitch of the A-B now. In there, strike one. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up, up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Come on. Oh, it oh right my God, dude. First. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Yeah, and when the ball left the bat, you figured it was a routine out, but that's how quickly things can change. As it stands, there's a runner on second base and a base hit away from coming home. Stepping in now, Manny Melendez. And the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and As a look, now the pitch. A ball and a strike. A runner at second, nobody out. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Hit weakly back to the mound. No! And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Discord's fine. To plate now, Alan Trejo. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Getting on base, a big problem as you see the average. No there. outs. Still without a home run. First and third. Six RBIs. The one and zero delivery. Nope. Blowing away as he misses again. Two and zero. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Runners at the corners here. Nobody out. Up ball and in. Big danger now. It's 3-0. And, oh. and he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's Are really going to get a me? round ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there. And a walk is the result. That's well, enough. the good news is he has no a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. Third, Melendez at second. Trejo on at first with nobody out. Breaking ball. ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. To two balls and two strikes now. All right, no more hope, and he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. From the belt, kicks and deals. A swing and he pops him up infield on the fly. infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. All right. I can tell you from experience, bases loaded, nobody out, and you get an infield pop-up, that feels just as good as a strikeout. And now he's just a double play ball away from getting out of this mess. Now so the next to bat will be Fred Hunter. Right. 0 for 1 here Hunter. in the early going. First offering on its way. Ball. Bases are loaded with only one out. This one's flared out toward left. Listy onto the ground. Oh my god, really? Can't get to it. This one's down. And not in time as the run scores. And they'll put the brakes on the runner at third, so the bases will remain loaded here with still only one away. 
Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. He could really open this lead up early if he can deliver here with the bases loaded. Pulled toward right center field. Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runners breaking from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the now sack fly. Now to the plate, here is Brian Mundell. Yeah. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Oh, my God. There's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. Woo! From the outfield to cut down the run and end the inning. Certainly worth another look. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local station. You're out of there. Oh, I thought he was safe. I'm so at bat. The pitcher. Oh my God! The ball. Nine, one, and two. Look. New up. You know these oh. next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. Look! Oh my God! Now the first pitch. Swing and a miss. 0 and one. 0 and one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his uh, off-speed stuff. I, I, I suck at this game, really. Lineup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Here's another 0-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. I suck at batting. Digging in will be Willie Quintana. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Here's the first pitch. To short. Reined in. And there's one down now. We need a couple one, Next one, two, is one, two, three, three innings here. Hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Oh, man. That was a good pitch. Down and ought to be good for extra bases. And this will find the wall. Deep Don't, in let the corner. Don't let him. Don't let him. Don't let him. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Take a look at this right here. He didn't get jumpy and try and pull it down the left field line. Stayed in there, fought hard, and grinded out a nice knock the other way. Jose Gomez is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. A man at third with one away. Swing and a miss for strike one. All right. One down, one down. Right side, but it's going to be a two foul strikes. Ball. Fly ball heading for the alley. No! And that's, and we'll see if that's extra bases. 
And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 3-0 game. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. So much of this game is situational hit. Thank you. Nice, nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. The relay throw, and he is in there with an RBI triple. Yeah, and when a pitching coach goes to the yeah, mound this early, they can take me out. just looking to reset the pitcher's mindset, get him to forget about the negative, and give him something positive to focus on. We'll see if he responds. I grew up. Look at me. I'm tall. So yeah, now to the plate, hey. Alan Trejo. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Still only one out in the inning. Lifted down. Are you kidding me? Left fielder giving chase. All right. Makes the catch, but, but I let up another run. Breaks for home. And I let up five earned runs, man. Five nothing game. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give this guy a third a chance. The pitcher, Here's the 16. first pitch. Carl Kaufman started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0 and 1. Three runs already home here. And that's in there as well, 0 and 2 now. Plays that one now. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. Here's the one and two delivery. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on three hits. No errors. I need my offense no to come in big right complete. now. The yard goats lead it five to nothing. Single, strikeout, field is choice, strikeout. Come on, guys. Get some bats, get some hits, get some runs. Help me out. First pitch on its way. I'll take that. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today. What did you do today, Zena? Was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, that call looked like it was a little cheese in ball favor, eating challenge. Is that what you did? Hey, listen. Calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Now the second in pitch. now, Ronald Hernandez hey. as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike. Nice, one. congrats. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. The 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying attention. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. Got him to go down swinging there. Ronald Hernandez goes down for route number two in the bottom half. Dirty. Into the box the now, Brian Mundell. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Hit the other way out toward right field. I'll take it. He's under it, and that ends the inning.
So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. On to the top of inning number five we go. The yard goats are out on top. Look at my batting average. Point zero four eight. Oh, come on, team. All right, we got to run. Come on, guys, we need more. Come on. Final total in today's game. The Hartford Yard Goats took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Carl Kaufman earns the win his second. Cannon Ball was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Fleezak and the rest of the crew.